At first glance, rotobrushing in After Effects might seem pretty simple. Just cut out some objects, add some text, and that's it, right? Boring! What if I told you that rotoscoping gives you the ability to create things like this? I use this editing technique in almost every video I make. I'll be going through the basics, advanced techniques, improving productivity, rotoscope error fixes in this video. And if you guys want to skip ahead to a certain part, there will be channel markers down below on this video. So drop a like on this video and let's get into it. Once you have your composition and you have your video and or subject that you want to cut out, make sure that you're on the first frame of your video and go up to tools and then you want to find the roto brush tool right here and we're we'll click on it. And then on your video, just double click to open up the panel. You wanna make the brush bigger, just hold down control and then click and drag up to make it bigger and then drag down to make it smaller. Of course, you can use your scroll wheel to scroll in and kind of zoom in. And if you click down on your scroll wheel, you can actually drag around so you can kind of see the full edge. Now we're just gonna be clicking and dragging and we're gonna be painting around the perimeter of our subject that we want to cut out. I usually do it in kind of sections just so I can kind of be more accurate. Once you're done painting and let go, it'll kind of like do its After Effects AI of trying to like figure out exactly the order that you want. Now the next step is just kind of like zooming in and just making sure you're doing the kind of final adjustments, all the edges, kind of making sure that it's around edges and accurate. Go around the hair. Next step I'm gonna give you guys is when you're brushing, you're gonna come into this problem where it wants to kind of grab the background and we don't want the background. To get rid of it, all you have to do is just hold down Alt and your brush will turn red. And then from here, we're just gonna be dragging all the stuff that we want. Let go. Next tips are gonna be the actual settings for your roto brush. And inside here, I rarely change them very much, but I would say maybe around the feather. The feather is just pretty much feathering the edges. I usually keep this between five and eight. Contrast, I never usually touch. Or shift edges, sometimes when you're done cutting out, you will see kind of this edge of the actual background inside it. Usually maybe put this between zero and negative five. It pretty much just shifts the edge a little bit inside of your edge. This shoulder is a pretty good example of some chatter where it's not super smooth cut out. It kind of a little jaggedy, but you can kind of crank this up as you want to kind of get the jaggedy edges kind of away. Quick tip, the more you change these settings, the longer it will be between each frame. But speaking of frames, there's two ways that you can go about the next step, and that is either clicking on just the freeze button after your first frame and just letting After Effects go through the whole entire thing on its own. And even though that it is way quicker just to click freeze and let After Effects do all the heavy lifting, it is not always the most accurate. And in my opinion, in my workflow, what I do is after the first frame is all cut out, I go over to our preview and we click on the next frame. I'll just load the next frame and from here I just go frame by frame kind of looking at the edges and making sure everything is kind of consistent. I think consistency in a rotoscope cutout is probably the most important thing. With going frame by frame you'll see some things will kind of grab into the cutout like this and we don't want that so we just gonna kind of do these minor adjustments. If everything's looking good a little quick tip you can do to make it slightly faster is kind of go two frames at a time. And you just want to repeat this process throughout your whole entire video that you want to cut out. Once you're done going through your whole video, kind of going frame by frame, making sure everything is cut out properly. Next thing you want to do is click on this little freeze button right here. And what this does is it pretty much just re-renders all the frames that you cut out. And the couple seconds it takes to freeze all the frames, it saves you minutes in the long run, trust me. Once it's done freezing, we can go back to our main composition right here. Now if you play it back, you just successfully rotoscoped inside After Effects. So now we have a proper transparent background with just the object cut out. But if you want to use the actual video and, and the subject and have things behind it, we're kind of working in reverse here. Reverse, oh, Lord. But it's pretty simple of just clicking Control D on your layer and keeping the roto brush on the top layer. But on the bottom one, we just delete the rotoscope. Now, if you want to add things behind it, it's pretty simple of just adding uh, overlay or text to your video. And you just want to make sure if you, the thing behind your subject is behind your cutout, which is this top one. So text below it in between it cut it out boom now i'm gonna show you a couple render errors that you guys might get along the way while editing and how to fix them click on your rotor brush you click on your video start dragging boom you get this frame mismatch or footage with field found best blah 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 set the composition if you get this message the easiest thing to do is just go back to your layer get rid of the rotor brush and all we're gonna do is just right click click new 
click no object highlight both of them and right click recompose and move all attributes into new composition now when you click on the rotor brush and go inside of it drag and start cutting out your character bada bing bada boom a great success another error message that you might get which is actually super simple and probably pretty self-explanatory you go to rotor brush kind of start rotor brushing you'll just get this error message where it says draw rotor brush and refine edge strokes at full resolution all you have to do is just go back to your composition right here click on full rotor brush panel boom no more error message the first advanced technique i am going to show you is going to be the edge refine tool this tool lets you get more precise edges and specific to cutting out hair once you have cut out your subject and it's time to cut out the hair go up to your rotoscope tool and click and hold and click on the refine tool start dragging the brush around your subject's hair like this once you let go you'll see a luma everything in the white will be inside the cutout and anything that is black will not be in the cutout once you got it to your liking, go down and click freeze to have it render it through or go frame by frame making the adjustments. So the second advanced technique that I'm going to be showing you guys, instead of rotoscoping on your S-Log3 footage, the problem is, is because there is less contrast to your video, it will be harder to cut out your character because your edges sometimes aren't super contrasty. I just add my color correction my video next thing is just want to pre-compose it but this is also a 60 fps clip inside a 23 fps clip so i don't want the mismatch so all i do is just add a null and highlight these and go over here and pre-compose now if we pre-compose it we go up to our rotor brush double click on it now we are actually painting on your actual acid color correction a lot easier for after effects to know what you want to cut out the first productivity tip i want to be showing you guys is instead of going frame by frame with the preview panel where it takes more time when you make an adjustment over here click one frame ahead see you don't like make an adjustment we're gonna actually speed it up with keyboard shortcuts and to do this we're gonna go over to edit over to keyboard shortcuts and we're gonna type in go forward inside the composition panel you're gonna see these two right here which says go forward one frame and to do that all you have to do is just click right here and then on this you just click on whatever keyboard shortcut you want for me i have it as three i recommend doing it as three as also once you have it as three we're gonna type in go backward just go back and inside the same thing i have it set to one and to make it one all you have to do is just click right here and click on the end where there's nothing and then click one once you've done that just click ok now to go forward one frame or backwards one frame once you made an adjustment just click three you'll go forward one frame if you want to go backwards one frame just click one go back all right guys so that brings us to the end of the video hopefully you guys learned a couple things about rotoscoping and if you did make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below and on that note i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video Peace.